Hello, nerds, and welcome back again to Nerd or Die. It is time for another new... Toy Review. Today I'm going to be reviewing David 8 by NECA's Prometheus line. We'll take a quick look here at the packaging. You can pause that if you'd like to uh, read the bio. We're going to get him out of the packaging here and take a look at his sculpt and paint. Um, NECA did a really, really good job on this figure. Uh, this figure also has improved articulation, which I'm going to touch on a little later. Um, but if you watch the film, David is the android in the film, played by Michael Fassbender. And, I mean, this is just incredible. Such an incredible sculpt. The face sculpt is almost uncanny. Um, and the suit, and the coloring, I mean, it, it just looks like it was pulled right from the movie. I love all the details that they added in here with the gloves and the boots, little wrinkles in the pants, uh, just like the decals and the other type of patches that they put on the outfit really just make this figure exceptional. Got the Wayland symbol here on the back. I think there's kind of like this battery pack thing uh, leading from, well, I guess the character's butt all the way up to the top here. I think that's, that's some sort of like camera, uh, battery pack for the camera. All right, let's get into the articulation. Uh, his head can go up and down, left and right, uh, full movement on the head, and the arms can go in and out and back and forth. It bends at the elbow. I believe the wrist is on a ball joint. Uh, now the forearm uh, rotates, and it also rotates at the elbow. Uh, same articulation on the other side, in and out, back and forth, bends at the elbow, wrist is on a ball joint. Now, I think the legs on this figure is excellent. Uh, it can go back and forth and in and out, like in the split shape if you want. It also rotates at the thigh, double joint uh, knee. I believe it also rotates at the shin. And then at the top, back at the top of the thigh, uh, there's an extra joint up there also. Uh, and then, of course, uh, the ankle... I think is a ball joint. Don't hold me to that. You know, it goes back and forth, left and right. Um, these legs are uh, very, very articulated. I love the double jointed knees. I can't get enough of that. It's also got um, a really nice ab crunch and swivel. Um, there are two points where and there's a point at the waist. And then there's a point right underneath the chest, like underneath the sternum. And it gives him a wide range of movement. Yeah, those two points right there. It gives him a wide range of movement in the middle. Let's take a moment to talk about the accessories that come with David. Um, you get his helmet, um, which it can be on or off. Uh, and then you get this little head over here that you're supposed to put on for when he wears the helmet. I guess this like old 1950s football helmet that he's wearing, that's the piece that you're supposed to put on before putting on your helmet. Oops, I dropped that. And then uh, he comes with this little flashlight here with a battery pack underneath, I believe. So the accessories are really nice. I'm glad that they gave him the helmet and that it's removable. And as far as size comparison goes, uh, he is just a little shorter without his helmet on to Deacon and a considerable amount shorter than uh, the engineer in the space jockey suit. Okay, that's going to do it for me. Thank you for joining Nerd or Die again today with our newest toy review. Remember, if you like me, my videos, or what I have to say, please subscribe. Don't forget to rate and comment below. Also, look us up on Facebook. I've included a link in the description below. All right, until then, stay nerdy. Thanks. Bye-bye.